first product that was developed by FTI was called Bulletproof. It was a bullet-only analysis system. Then in 1995, the cartridge case images were added to form the IBIS system. Through the rest of the 90s, a lot of time was spent traveling around the world with the machine, trying to convince people that this technology was for real and actually did work. The system is composed of two stations. There's the data acquisition station, which we see here, where all uh, cartridge cases and bullets are imaged into the system. And on our left, we have the signature analysis station where correlations and images are compared for our identifications. In years prior to IBIS, the way we handled firearm investigations was the, uh, if we had an investigator's lead or, or per chance a, a firearm examiner may have seen an unusual mark on a piece of ammunition and would have linked one crime to another. And those types of uh, leads, if you will, have probably happened eight to ten times a year with IBIS and uh, we get 40 to 50 times a year. A couple months ago the, the system helped us match up a uh, homicide case from Southeast along with uh, cases from 77th Division and a couple cases from the Sheriff's Department. In the past we probably wouldn't have gotten that information in a timely manner to know that those cases were related. In uh, British Columbia there was one case where three drive-by shootings were connected using the IBIS technology in three cities which joined each other uh, in BC. And with IBIS, okay, it shortens our work because it gives us only the ten best matches, okay, so it's, uh, fast use for, it's faster for us to check uh, those unsolved cases. Law enforcement in Los Angeles can, can query and have access to information that was put, say, in Philadelphia. Um, and this is just a, an incredible tool for law enforcement. We have a saying on the street that we need to stay a step ahead of the bad guys, and this is one of the, one of the ways that we can do that. We presently have 235 uh, IBIS systems stalled uh, throughout the United States. Uh, which is all forensic laboratories that do ballistic analysis. Uh, what's interesting to note is there are over uh, 18,000 police departments throughout the United States that collect evidence, cartridge cases and bullets, uh, from crime scenes. So the problem is getting the evidence to the IBIS machine. Brass Tracks is a new system that enables any police department to record data on bullets, cartridge cases or guns that would need analysis. Brass Tracks sends data to the closest PD equipped with an IBIS machine and very quickly retrieves any possible match to the evidence seized by the police. All the success stories that were compiled day after day, year after year, are quite amazing. The way the technology has been used so far opens up more and more possibilities of invention in the same line of crime fighting. The strength of this system is that everything is digitized and networkable. Data can now be transmitted through any communication system and through telephone lines. It is an issue that is no longer isolated in one single laboratory. Crime and terrorism has become more global, and I think the future really lies in the ability to take all the systems that we've placed out there around the world today and network those systems so they could all share their information, share the images of their evidence without having to do the physical things like package it up and ship it around and release custody of it. We're talking about digitized information. It's pumped through the uh, electronic channels and uh, I think that's where the future lies.